Holy infant, so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. Amen. On this Christmas morning, the word made flesh comes to us as an infant lying in a manger, tender and mild, sleeping and resting. The literal meaning of the word infant is one who is incapable of speech, unable to speak. At that earliest stage of life where there are not yet words. And so we ponder this mystery that the word made flesh, God's word coming into the world to bring the message of God's love, of God's great good news, of peace and hope, comes as one not yet able to speak. How is it that the word of God wanting to be expressed in the world chooses this beginning. The ancient church fathers wondered about this, and Anglican preachers throughout the years have also wondered themselves. Lancelot Andrews, one of the great 17th century Anglican preachers, wrote in a sermon, what Verbum infans, the word, an infant without a word, the eternal word and not able to speak a word. The word made flesh, that infant word, comes into the world without words and begins by drawing near to the unspoken and the unspeakable in our human experience. The unspoken words of our hearts, the griefs and sorrows and regrets that we carry deep within us, but never give words the deep prayer and hope that lies within us as we learn to pray to God, sometimes with sighs too deep for our human words. The unspoken love we have for God, which is beyond what we can capture in simple human language. The unspoken dreams and desires and longings of our hearts, which we offer to God silently from the very center of our being. This infant word without words comes to draw near to the unspoken places of our human experience. And the word comes also to draw near to the unspeakable parts of our human life in the world, the things which are so difficult and so upsetting that we really struggle to find any way to frame them in words or to comprehend them in ways that can be articulated. Immigrants, 
fleeing and struggling and trying to find their way and facing difficult and uncomfortable and extreme conditions along the way. Children separated from families. People who are incarcerated and separated also from the ones they love, where even to be able to speak words to one another requires paying enormous telephone bills just to communicate. People who are caught in the midst of war and fear and terror and who live a life every day that we could not possibly imagine. The unspeakable things which seem to prevail in the divisions in our country and in our world, those things which shock and horrify us, things we cannot believe that we hear and we cannot find words to say how wrong it all seems. The infant word without words comes near to the unspeakable parts of our common, collective, global, human existence. The word without words, God's love incarnate, comes to offer before any language, before any speech, before any preaching or teaching, the simple, silent gift of presence. This infant word marks for us the coming of God's full presence into the world, a presence which comes alongside us comes to live and to dwell among us, comes to shed an unquenchable light in the darkness of the world. This word without words offers to us and to all those in the world who are suffering or anxious the thing which we most need as humans, the simple presence of one who is able to sit with us, to understand the things we are not able to say, to love us unconditionally, quietly, faithfully, to be present with us as the fullness of God's truth and grace. The word, the infant without words, draws near to us this day, to the unspoken and unspeakable parts of our human life, to hold us to embrace us, to enfold us in never-failing care and love. And before one human word is spoken, we understand the profound presence of God in the world, God who has come to incarnate in flesh a message of gentleness and tenderness and justice and hope and peace for all of us, whether we can say the words or not. How silently, how silently the wondrous gift is given. Amen.